Okay, so today we're gonna work on something different. We're gonna shift from um, perspective and anything we've worked on really. And we're gonna talk a little bit about um, drawing on the right side of the brain. So this is a book, but it's also a way of learning how to draw better. So the activity we're gonna do today is basically uh, meant to turn off the left side of your brain, which is used for more naming things, language, um, very logical things. Um, and we're gonna shift into the right side of our brain, which is more um, spatial, it's better for drawing, um, it's a little bit more creative. So in order to do that, um, we are going to use a technique that's described in the book, um, which is going to be drawing something upside down. So basically you're not gonna give your brain knowledge of what you're drawing ahead of time and therefore we'll keep our left brain out of it um, so it doesn't have the tendency to call things by name. So when you're drawing, um, one technique that's gonna be very helpful for you is to think of things in a way of shapes. Um, what, what does that shape look like? Is it round? Is there, are there lines that are curved? Is the line going downward? Is the line going over to the right? Without giving name to anything like nose, hand, uh, eyeball. So that's a way that you can shift off the left side of the brain and you will be able to produce um, a better drawing. So we're going to practice this today uh, with an upside down drawing. So I have never drawn this one before. So this will be a good practice to see how we do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to start with the overall big shape. Okay. So when you start any drawing, you want to kind of give yourself the, you know, the contour line, the outline of everything first, and then we'll break it up into smaller details. So if you don't know where to start, um, look at everything as a whole, kind of blank out everything else that would be inside of it. So uh, if I stop talking, that's because I'm trying not to get into my left brain so much. So I'm gonna be drawing lines and I'm just going downward here. And now I'm coming inward and I'm moving towards the right. And these lines are a little curved, it looks like. And come back up. We're gonna go over. We're gonna come down. Got a little curve here. Straighter line. Oh, now we have a little bit more of a rigid line. And we're gonna come up. And let's see here, we're gonna get some more, uh, I'd say, mm, some pointy lines and another pointy line. We're coming around the back and over here. I'm also doing a little bit of um, blind drawing, which means I'm looking at the drawing, the reference, but I'm not looking at my paper immediately. So. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my brain to perceive the shape and reproduce it on my paper. So sometimes I am looking and then I'm trying to hold that visual information in my head and then I'm transferring it on to my paper here. So this is a little difficult for me because I really like to measure things and now I didn't go along the outside here so I'm going to come back and start with this other line going diagonal because I missed something here but that's okay. All right here's another diagonal line going downward and coming up. It might also be helpful, I probably should have done this ahead of time, is to give yourself that um, outline of a square but I didn't do that so we'll see how this goes. All right, so we got that back. Now we're still going back to the outline here. Okay, we're gonna come around. And I'm just kind of talking through what's going through my mind. You don't have to talk it out loud. In fact, it's probably better if you don't. But for your sake, you get to listen to me talk to myself. All right, so now we're gonna go back down. Come up. And over, and then we've got a little bit of a curve and then we got this and then a curve and then we have another straight line this is diagonally going down hopefully I am close to the edge of my paper and we got another curve another straight line and in 
up. We're gonna put that right there. And actually, I think I kind of like where I ended up here on accident, so that's good. Okay, so I would say there, this is my overall shape for now. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start to put in some details here. So um, I'll start kind of up in this area of the page and I'm just gonna start finding these lines. This one's gonna come across. This one's gonna come upwards. And then in and then we've got these little little shapes here and then we've got this little shape curved we've got this little shape okay, and then this is gonna I'm gonna pull this line over because I'm noticing it should be on the other side here um, actually I'm gonna draw over that come up and around and a lot of this is just trusting yourself that your brain and your hand can cooperate together and process information and it will it will surprise you a lot of times okay so I'm in this little area I want to move over along this line so I'm not going to draw the whole vertical line there so I'll stop and make these little triangular points Moving back, I feel like I'm doing a doodle drawing right now. And I'm just kind of placing things. I'm getting a little sketchy, which is my tendency, but I probably should just stick with linear here. Um, okay. And then, okay, so it looks like this I'm gonna extend some of my lines. Now I'm putting some details in and I'm noticing, I am noticing I wanna move things around. So we'll see how this goes. So this is gonna come all the way up. I'm gonna do this guy all the way up here. All the way up about. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of look at where these are hitting this part of the picture because it starts to curve right above that point. So I'm kind of using some things. Now I have some things to reference a little bit to see where some of these curves should come inward and then back outward. Back out again. This one's gonna come down this way and curve around. Okay, let's see where we're at up here. So that's gonna curl here. And I don't know what I, oh, that's supposed to be, I was like, I don't know what I did over there. Well, we'll see how this goes. I don't even know where I ended up on this side. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fix this little section. Okay, so this comes down and this comes around. And then we should have we should have this vertical line starting here, which is gonna connect to here. So we'll see. I might be off here. All right, so we're just still talking in ways of shapes and lines here. So vertical lines, vertical, little rounded shape, vertical line, and I should be, let's see, at the bottom of this section here. And let's see, can I make that connection? I know that's way too tall. But let's see how this goes. Okay, so there's that shape, and now I can put this shape in. So once I get some of this established, this is helping me figure out where I am a little bit on here. This is a curve. This is this thing here, up, down. Um, I don't know where I am there. And then we 
should have this. Okay, this one looks like I connected it okay. Excited to see how this turns out in the end. I know you guys are gonna be excited too. This is not something I do often, so this is probably good for me anyways. Okay. All right, so we got like this little pointed thing here, and that should come up here, and then that's that. Okay, so we got that shape, that looks okay. Now this area, so I got this, whatever I did here, I'm not sure. And we've got this shape here, so we got a straight line, turns down, up, back. Okay, I've got that. This, oop, I missed this little wavy line here, so a little wave, wave, and it runs into that. Um, okay, there's that. Da, da, da. Kind of moving along, seeing what I've missed, what I have. Okay, down here, I didn't get this part yet, so. So this comes to here, so that means there's a curve here. Oh, that's why that looks weird, because I didn't have this part done yet. Haha. <laughs> okay, that's better now, I think. And then we have, this is gonna curl, curl around. So I'm kind of adjusting my lines. I'm drawing with pen, by the way, because um, this is kind of just I don't know. I wouldn't use charcoal for this exercise. You could use pencil or a pen. I'm trying to use pen. Hopefully you guys can see it. I might have, maybe I should have used like a Sharpie or something, but, but somebody says it looks fine. So I guess we're good. All right. Um, um, okay. I have another little shape in here that I didn't get yet. And then this line should come through. Oh, I've got a little shape here, I think. Yep, okay. This should be down further. And then that comes up like that. And then this thing should come down further. I think I think mine's gonna be a little long. I think that's gonna be what's going on here. I don't know. This is the back. I need to come around here a little bit more. Okay. All right, did I miss anything in this section? Too big of a gap here, I can see that. But that's okay, we're gonna keep moving. Okay, we got this. Now we got some shapes in here I haven't done yet. Okay, so right above that little thing, there's like this weird little shape here. I feel like I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. So that's okay, because you know what, when you're drawing, you can move stuff around. It doesn't have to be perfect. I can tell because this line right here, I have all this space here and I'm really close. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna maneuver my line over, I think is what I'm gonna do a little bit. So I'm just gonna, one thing I like to do is if I have a line already that I like and I just want it again, I just kind of trace along the outside of it. It's kind of a fast way to redraw something without getting all crazy about it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over here. Where was I? Here. That's still not far enough out, I don't think. So you, you guys can hear me talking just about shapes and lines. I haven't said anything about what this is. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, so here, this little shape should be here. And then we've got this. It's kind of going down and curled. Then we should go straight over, straight back. That line should come down. Okay, now I have a reference for this part so I can move this out a little bit. So I'm going to do that. And this is going to move out. So like I said, I'm just going to kind of trace over this. Maybe it'll be better the second time around anyways. <laughs> Okay. And spiky lines. And this is the back, so we're gonna over here and meh. Okay, so we just got a couple more details 
here. So I've got a little triangle, a little curved line, and line here. See what I missed here. All right, so we've got this thing, this, 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 this should be the edge of my paper if I was going to make a line here. Um, okay, I think I have, I think I got it. I think I got it all. All right, so before we flip it, We'll see, I, I'm gonna have a redraw here, but I was just moving stuff around, so that's something you'll do a lot when you're drawing anyways. All right, so let's see what we did here. This is the most exciting part. Everybody likes when they flip it upside down and see what we've got here. All right, so we have a we have a cute little guy hunched over in a rocking chair. My guy looks extra hunchy. Maybe that's because I have this extra line on his back, but but you can see what it is. So your brain wasn't processing what it was when it was upside down and that's good. So that's how you can trick your brain um, into just looking for those shapes, just looking for those lines and not being worried about what it looks like. If you're trying to draw, you know, somebody that you know and you, you get really emotional about it, you know, maybe try drawing them upside down because then you won't, you won't know what you're drawing and your brain won't make that connection. So then when you do flip it upside down, hopefully you'll be impressed with yourself um, a little bit anyways. All right, so that's it. 